With me now is Simon Hughes, the Justice and Civil Liberties Minister and the Liberal Democrat MP. Now, this applies to all drugs, and it's about personal use. But how do you define the amount which is used for personal use? The answer is in the same way as the police do now. We wouldn't change that. So if somebody gets stopped, uh, the police decide whether it's a personal use issue or whether it's there for supply and they charge appropriately and they would do exactly the same. But, but people need to know themselves whether what they're carrying would be reasonable for personal use, don't yeah. they? I mean, how can you have a situation where people feel safe and yeah. comfortable no. carrying what they need? No. The law has always been really clear that if you're caught with a very small amount, which is clearly something only uh, that you're able to use, then that's regarded as for your own use. If the law thinks you're carrying a stash of but stuff... There's no, but there's no legal definition of personal use. No, that's correct. So that's a but, problem. But, but, but that's been a traditional let decision me just, of let enforcement. Me, let me, I'm just going to do this because I yeah. think it's just to get people a sense yeah. of what this is. So here we have some powder. And we I'm have. Glad it's you producing this and not me. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is powder, right? This, this is for powder. Just say, yeah, this no, was, no, just say this was cocaine. Now, that would be about, uh, I don't know, uh, three or four hundred pounds worth. Yeah. Right? A tiny amount. That would be regarded, presumably, as personal use, would it? Well, I'm not the judge, I'm not the police officer, but, I'm not the Crown Prosecution Service. Well, I think that no, the problem with this, let, let's put it another way. Let's put it another I understand way. where you're coming from. Can I no, just, no, let, let's just say, right. let's say you have a great capacity for it. So this is worth two and a half thousand pounds and it's whatever it is, you know, a couple of hundred grams, it'll last you a while. Or you live in the countryside, you live in a very rural area, you only want to get, you want to get enough for a year that. when you're out. Here you are, you live in rural Cornwall and you want to get a supply for a year. This is for personal use. How, you know, what, what do you do that, with that? That's what, the police do the same all the time. If they stop somebody in Cornwall with that stash, they would start questioning them. And if the answer was just this, I go to London once a year and I collect what I need and you can check and so on, then they have to decide whether they believe what they're being told. The, the important but point... That, that really, no, but, that, but that's, that's sort of disastrous, no, isn't it, for people? Look, then they no, say, well, actually, I'll just throw half of this over my shoulder and it'll be yeah. fine because actually yeah. then it won't be well, too can, upsetting can, for can, the police. I'm going to come at the issue another way. I understand what you're asking, but it, there's no change to that. Not, we're not... Uh, changing the law to make this legal where it's not legal. But the law's legal. not clear. No. Well, the law is clear enough. And if you were the, being radical, you would change the law. No, no. The, Other the countries law is, actually have definitions of what is actually for personal use and not for personal the use. The law, law is clear enough that every year 80,000 people get convicted in this country for drugs for personal use in England and, and Wales. Yes. The law is clear that but, when they get to the courts, there's a distinction between cautions But this is often. going to be a lot, this is going to be such a lot of police time. And no, no, in no, the no, end the of the day... The opposite. But in, no, but in the end of the really day, the there's only 4% yeah, right. of people, 4% yeah. of people who are convicted yeah. for personal use end up in the clink. Absolutely. So actually, no, this is a big fuss no, about no, no, nothing. No, 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 it's not a big fuss. One of the responsibilities of my department is the prison service. There are, last year, there were 2,000 plus people who went inside just for possession. And they came out after three months or six months. Actually, there are quite a lot of drugs in prison. And the evidence is, interestingly, counterintuitively, that the reconviction rate for those who go inside for drug possession is higher than those who get dealt with in another way. So and we're trying to move this from a law and order home office... Uh, you know, um, you've um, been banging on this for, since 2002 yeah. and you haven't really got anywhere. No, no, we have got somewhere. Uh, but if you were really going to get somewhere, wouldn't you say decriminalise altogether and be done with no, it? That because, would be the radical because, liberal no, well, policy. Well, it would be radical. Some people support it, Do of you course. support it? No, I don't support it because I think the way, the evidence around the world is that if you go down this road and move from it being a law and order issue to a health issue, then what's the benefit? The benefit is you start dealing with the people who use drugs and become addicted for their personal use and you give them a better lifestyle at the end of it.